Okay, so now that we have the boat done, let's work on the drivetrain. I have this one half inch um, shaft. What I'll be using are these nylon washers that will go along this shaft uh, to keep it right in the center of that PVC pipe that you saw earlier. I'll be using these uh, U-washers, which have kind of a, a sort of a one-way valve on them uh, to keep water out. Along with that, I'll be using some marine grease just to keep everything nice and lubricated and a little more of a seal. So let's get started on prepping this. Okay, so here's our final product. So what you see here is those U-cups. And this is just those nylon washers that spin freely. And then these really don't slip back and forth. They'll do a nice job at keeping these sort of within a relatively good space. So that will keep this whole axle from uh, you know, gyrating inside the uh, PVC pipe as it comes up and through the bearings where it hits the, hits the engine with the chain and sprocket. So let's put this in and see how it looks. Okay, so there's a few things we gotta do with the engine, gas, and a couple of fuel pumps here. Uh, just to get an idea of how this is all gonna fit, this engine will slide in right about here. Gas tank gonna fit right in this wedge spot here. Um, and then we're gonna use a centrifugal clutch to drive the axle with the chain. Um, a couple of the challenges, uh, there's water's going to get in here, it's just going to happen, and we can't let it flood the engine. Um, we don't want to go as high as the flywheel, so we want a way to pump that water out as soon as it gets in. So there will be two fuel pumps, one for actual fuel, because right now the level of the carburetor is right at, or maybe a little bit um, above the level of the fuel tank, so we'll need a pulse pump to keep that carburetor fed with fuel. Also, we'll use a pulse pump uh, to pump out the water. So the engine will provide that, um, that energy for that. Uh, we'll use the actual case uh, Zerk here. This used to be the governor taken out and just replaced with a Zerk uh, or, or nozzle to run the, uh, the water pump. This is a little bit stronger of a, a pump source, so that will be our water pump. And then the other pump we'll use for the actual fuel. Uh, and that will be run off the, uh, the header here. So we'll have to take the header off. Uh, create a nozzle for that and then we can run the fuel pump off of that. Uh, these two fuel pumps, uh, I don't want water to get near this so what I'll be doing is placing them in some um, Tupperware with a lid and running those fuel lines through that Tupperware and I'll seal it with a, a glue gun and that will slide right in here. Uh, the last bit of that, um, well actually that's, that's pretty much it. Once I get the tubing in the right spot I can put all that in um, this, I have some exhaust wrap, uh, so I'll just wrap this up the best I can. Uh, so uh, let's get on this next part here. Um, first things first, let's get the engine bolted in uh, and get the gas tank uh, in so I know exactly where those will be in space and then I can start doing all the piping. Okay, so just going over what I'm going to be doing with the time lapse next. So it's time to hook up the fuel system and the water pump system uh, that will all be powered off of the engine. Um, I have two uh, accesses to the, the pulse that will work these two pulse pumps. One will be for the gas and one will be for the water. Uh, with that, I'll be using some quarter inch ID tubing for the water and I have lots of fuel lines to work with the fuel. Uh, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is what we're looking at for the first layer of the water pump. So some tubing, let's follow it. Uh, this is the intake. Uh, that's where water will get sucked up. It'll go around the engine and then through this filter. 
Um, I'm hoping it just catches like dirt and sand that might get in there and I can always clean that out if it gets clogged up. So that comes through here. Uh, the pulse pump will come from the engine block that loops around and back. And then the output here will just come up and out the side of the unit and all uh, somehow attaches so it's out of the way. Okay, let's get back to the fuel line. Okay, let's talk about the fuel line. So, the pulse from this is coming off of the header of the engine. So, uh, that goes under and through to the in the pulse intake fuel line to this nice uh, small little fuel tank here. Uh, and then that, of course, goes to the carburetor. So, uh, next thing to do here is secure this water intake line uh, near the bottom of the, uh, of the whole reservoir here and uh, put some gas in the tanks, fire it up, see if it pumps like it should, do a little test run with the water, and uh, we'll see what happens next. wonderful so that pump pumps that water out nicely it's not really fast but you know if you get a little in there and you just want to get it out while you're riding versus having to stop and tip it over that's gonna work great uh, I'll secure this a little better but uh, everything seems to be working really great so what we'll do next here is uh, this is still mobile make sure it's all sealed so no water gets into the pumps while it's running <clears throat> and then we'll uh, tape down the gas tank get this secured um, and just do a last little fixings. Uh, also, I did put a kill switch here, so you'll put this on when you're riding, and if you fall off, it'll kill the engine. Other than that, it, uh, that was very successful. So let's continue on. well sealed all around. All right, time to install the emergency paddle.
I'd say that was a success. Uh, super fun. I think the only improvements I really want to make is maybe a bigger motor, a uh, more powerful motor, I should say. Uh, but otherwise, it's actually a pretty fun ride. Uh, it's really nice, like for this right now, it's nice and calm. Um, I don't think you can get two people on this, but that's all right. Um, yeah, that was, that was fun. It's a good time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as I can. Uh, it's a fun build. It took a while, but it really worked out. So pretty happy with, uh, with what I got. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe. I'll be building more stuff in the future. Uh, and uh, again, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.